Ah yes, back at it again at Roblox, baby, with all of its fine quality video games that you get to play. Oh, <clears throat> sorry, I meant experiences. Anyways, uh, welcome back to another video. Today, I'm going to be talking about pretty much the games that are good and the games that are bad on Roblox. And I'm going to be telling you just like my personal favorite games and my personal least favorite games. Let's continue. Now, I gotta admit, finding a good game on Roblox now is infinitely more difficult than it was before. Like back in the good old days of let's say 2014. Back then, I can just scroll through the home page, just click on a random game, and I would just be entertained for hours. And I'm like, I mean like hours, hours, like five plus hours. I didn't do a lot of things as a child, but nowadays, all of the front page games are exactly the same. You've either played them all before and didn't like them, or you stick to one for some reason. But if you're like me, you are thirsting for a nice quality game. Now personally, my favorite kind of games are the ones that kind of stick to the bare bone Roblox mechanics, but have extra features to them that makes it a lot more fun than just, you know, walking around on an empty base plate. For example, one game that immediately comes to mind to me is Doom Spy Brick Battle. That's a game where the mechanics are bare bone, just it sticks to just the classic Roblox mechanics and features and physics, but you have these nice little gears that you get, for example, rocket launchers, trowels, you get dodgeballs, uh, slingshots, swords, all that stuff. And then there's a beauty of a game that I used to play way back then, back when I was a small little child, just trying to do anything to increase that dopamine levels in my head, you know? That game was called RUN. All caps, RUN. The whole premise of the game though was, uh, <laughs> take a wild guess. You would basically spawn on the map and the maps would change every couple minutes where a bunch of balls, I'm not kidding, a bunch of colored balls will run around the map eating uh, the materials and just like landscape of the map. And as they eat the map, they multiply. And you just gotta keep running, you just gotta haul your ass until you win, or you get eaten. But that game is an absolute masterpiece in my opinion. It is just, mwah, it's so good. The games you have to avoid. First thing first, copy and paste hangouts, those games suck. Number two, just boring games where you sit around, uh, waiting for stats to increase until you become the ultimate power god, Goku headass. The third game to avoid are definitely the ones that ask you to pay a lot of money. The ones that have pop-up game passes that are like, ooh, get this, and you um, you skip one level in the obby. No, don't play those games. Those games suck. Anyways, I don't want to keep this video too long, so I'm going to wrap it here. Thank you so much for watching. I do appreciate it. Um, I actually quite enjoy making videos like these, so they're still going to be coming, boys. All right, take care. See you guys. Peace.